are difficult to bear. Hold on, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Shawty, hold on. You hear me, bro? Don't talk to me like that, I ain't your damn nephew. What it do, my fly hippie crew, man? It's your boy, Sensei Perk. We back with episode, I believe, 11. Yeah, dang. Um, yeah, I'll see the fit, man. One, one time for the fit, boy. That boy too clean, you know what I mean? <laughs> Got the whole blaze on y'all, boy, man. Hey man, don't interrupt my my, my introduction. Bro. Don't do that again. Stuck with Foxy. Yeah, don't do that again. Bro. I thought. Do you think it's pain? There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. What are you talking about? Yeah, man, we got a couple side quests coming up and stuff, man. But we're gonna focus on the main thing, man. Gonna go over here and learn this move real quick, man. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? What's up, Shouty? Yeah, man, I finished. You already know I finished. Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a snitch. skilled seeker in that regard. Hey, hey, ain't no snitch. Let us now. practice a restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. All right, what you got? Precise, deliberate movements. Hey, all right. Look around at that. There it is, let's go. Yeah, shouty. Stop in the name of the law, my boy. Alright, let's try this thing out. Arrest the rest of That's it. Keep it up. Look at the slow mo on them thing, boy. It lasts a minute too. Well done. You are on your way to mastering a resto momentum. Okay, let's get it then. Alright. We got that. Let's see what the next thing is. We gotta go holla at Drunk Man. Old Drunk Man over there. Look at his drunk ass. Leaning Does on the I wall. Trouble you for a moment of your time. What's up, bro? Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. Oh, yeah, caretaker. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. Why, you were slow. I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Yeah, them oh, bit dolls not. coming in. Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Hey, 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 hey. Do you see that, that curious stuff, statue man. over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Bro, you had me standing here the whole day, bro. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Man, he trying to set me up. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which incidentally can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. Man, you see, you and your that head. day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigod. Oh, no, not no shapeshifters. Hopefully, Shawty ain't no yes. shapeshifter. I ain't got time. A terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. 
Uh, those statues are... Revelio pieces. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? Why don't you remove them yourself, bro? A couple of reasons, frankly. Yeah, you got ghosts behind you, First, bro. First, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmede has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wind's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. But you need in to fact, grow some balls, my boy. I know two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Man, here you go, man. Y'all always want me to do something, but don't want to pay your boy, man. What's up with y'all boys, man? Yeah, what's, what, what's in it for me, my boy? Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk, and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Oh, that's what uh, I like first, to hear. First, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Ah, oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of... Bull with dog and women back oh, in the day. Everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Hey, okay. Cuff finna teach me some stuff. Oh, snap. I know where I was stuck. Right, here we go. On round, playboy. Yes, sir. Well, let me apply that thing. Dang, where are they? Oh, it's an essential. Hello, Hamora. There you go. Yeah. I know how to pick a lock, shall we? Well done. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Oh man, here we go with this, bro. Alright, so I guess I gotta go incognito in this thing, man. Hold on. Let me go ahead and whip that out then. Alright, here we go. Cool, cool, we got it. Revelio. Got a little letter right there. Keep moving upstairs, huh? Revelio. Yeah, we got one right here. Shit. 
still early. Perhaps they'll improve. You think about every year, Matilda. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Damn, what the hell are they doing right there? Try to sneak my ass on up here. Here we go. What are y'all here doing late at night? Bro? What y'all got going on? Alright, they left though. They out here freaking each other. Boy, look at them. I knew they liked each other. Revelio. Level three. God dang. All right, man. How far we got to go to get these statues, my boy? God dang. Oh, 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 oh. Move a little too fast. Hold on. All right, got one right there. Like he walking all though. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, sh damn! How I used to get there. Uh, dang! Hold on. I used to. Oh, that's how I gotta get it. Oh. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Alright, just gotta do the same thing. Okay. Another action right there. There we go. Yes, sir. Let's go, man. I ain't know I was in the, I'm in I'm from the hood, man. How I do this? Oh, it's a whole gang gang right there. Hold on. Ranrock and Hisnot wouldn't be so combative if the Ministry would allow them to have one. One of those goblins comes near me. Or hell, I suppose. Anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. My march in Professor Hecate's class is superb. I don't think that's what that class is for. Alright, we got that. I think there's one more we gotta get. Revelio. Could need to look the other way or something. Let's see. My students in the hospital wing on account of my venomous tentacula. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. They doing all alert over there, man. What they looking at? What was that? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I have high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's a magician. They're having a teacher staff meeting out here. Late at night? Uh, how's that? Revelio. See the two. Flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh, I suppose I should pay closer attention in the next match, if there ever is one. I suppose you should. Oh, oh, I'm busted. Woo, woo. I thought that was it there, but I ain't even old. Yeah. Take that money. Revelio. 
Alright, I need bro to move so I can get that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Alright, man, we need to get the hell out of here. What the hell? Bro, I can't shoot over this damn thing. We gone, we gone, we gone on. What the hell kids doing up, man? Let me take their ass to bed. Hold on, slow it down. Alright. Revelio. Snip. I'll find you something better to do, my boy. Going on his ass. Can I break this lock? Aloha, Mora. Yeah. Got a little action. Oh, oh. Yeah. Come on, man. Sneaking and geeking. I hear something chirping, but I don't know where it's at. Right, we gotta get the hell out of here. Where we go? The hell? Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you I'm asked back, me bro. to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped! An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxme, does it? No. I Man, am determined with your help to discover the identity of my tormentor. Man, look, I ain't making no I'll promise. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Yeah, man, let me, let me know the deets, man. What you giving me? 
for helping you, bro. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Oh, he gonna pipe me up. Oh, okay. All right, man. That's cool. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, you lay oh, off the I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Hey, right, say later, my boy. Rebellion. Oh, yeah, one over here. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the sticks when you can. I would like your help with something. What what As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. What did they... Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some oh time. God, I've oh. been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Shouted woman in the court line. We got Deke in my damn business. And we got this picture. What is it? What in the... This thing rubbing his ass all over him, bro. Lord have mercy, bro. What is this, man? What kind of freaky deaky stuff this damn school in, man? All right, man. Let's go. Uh, let's go holler at my boy, man. Hey, holler at my boy Sebastian, man. Yeah, I'm here, bro. Slept overnight, but I'm alright. Got crooking my neck and shit. Waiting on your head, man. Had me out here late at night like that. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle yeah. Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise anyway. visit from Almost me and a new friend through. from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. All right, man, the ride on there, man. The get the on. Yeah, about your partner, man. He, hey, tell him to calm his ass down for I put him six feet on. You feel? With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Yeah, Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Hey, your sister bad, sure. Hey, man, hey, you know, I ain't trying to hit your family, but uh, I hit your fan. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. What's up with Shouty, man? The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! Hey, hey, huh? Hey, calm down. When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> Now look what you've done. Uh, uh, oh, so, uh, so, I'm sorry, Lee. Uh, uh, Lee, where'd you go here? Uh, uh, hey, man, what's going on with your family, bro? I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he doped for. Damn, bro. Hey, man, you all right? Well, don't walk off and cry, bro. Man, 
Where the hell you going, man? I don't know your family like that. You trying to leave me here? You do notice I'm black, right? Oh, man. All right, man. Who I gotta talk to, man? That boy will fray my last nerve. <laughs> oh, you gotta calm down, my boy. What you mad at? Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Hey, cook. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne. Oh, but nothing can be done for her. Hey, man, why are you speaking so low, my boy? You need some high vibrations, bro. That's what us melanin folk know about. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta change your way of thinking, my boy. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Bruh. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding Doctors a way to help don't know everything, sister. my boy. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. Man, I the make them boys explain. Is keep you Anne know who you're comfortable. talking to? And stay out of the loyalists' way. Boy, you're talking to the goat, boy. Man, look, man. With all due I'm respect, hope, sir, boy. hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you make bro. sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Boy, you need to uh, fix your whole persona, my boy. Man, when the last time you got laid, my boy? Hmm? You need you some, boy, because you a little uptight. You still got that stick stuff stuck all up in your ass, don't you? What's wrong with you, boy? Lord, your damn voice talking I'm to me. Sorry I ain't your nephew. I put your ass out. You bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Hold on, I'm, I'm sorry, Shawty. Hold on. You hear me, bro? Don't talk to me like that. I ain't your damn nephew. Hell wrong with you, boy. Good day, you. But hey, fix your damn tone. All right, I'm sorry, Shawty. I had to talk to your damn daddy real fast, or your uncle, whoever the hell he is. Are you all right, Dan? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. And I'm all right. Damn, yeah, the pain sure. from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. Man, how the hell it's you nice get to curved? meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts in the Slytherin Common Room. Sure, you gotta watch oh, what you're throwing that thing, room. man. Not everybody got a I clean one. You feel? First years about spotting mermaids through the window. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. The hell is Feldcroft? Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. What's up, I must man? say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian Look, cannot told take away my pain. Go around throwing that thing Perhaps you can and, help and, him and to God, understand that. Especially, you know, they got dirty ones. Man, you got a chance, shouty. You know, they got stuff to clean up them things down there. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, man. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, ain't no problem, man. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Yeah, you got to, uh, <laughs> you got to figure it out, shit. Yeah, all I gotta do is go holler at the doc for you, man. Right, they, they'll probably hook you up. Rebellio. Don't even worry about it. I'll get you back straight. So what you and your aunt don't, or your dad, or your aunt, don't realize is Sebastian with the slime gang, man. We look out for fam. You feel me? 
Oh. Oh, what? Whoa. Is that dark in there, boy? I can't see. I need to take these shades off. I'm more damn fat. Hey, cuz. Yeah, hey, bro. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. Man, don't worry about it, bro. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Man, you gotta apologize, man. That family. You feel what I'm saying? I know how that thing go, man. Don't even worry about it, bro. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. <laughs> He's simply father, given son. up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely your daddy, that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. All right, Slime, let's get it, boy. You know, hey, man, Slime we gang gang. are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Man, you know we gang gang. Hold on, bro. Let me change this up. Cause we, you seem like you're ready to get into some things, bro. So let me change this up. Hold on. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Oh, they digging, huh? Digging what? Digging in their booty? Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Oh, we're gonna get these boy cut. Don't even worry about it. Should I stay here? We're gonna, we're gonna try this out first. Revelio. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Let's get started then. Now I'm messing with Bam, bro. Mm. I care about you being afraid of her, come on. I will make you pay. Defender, I won't win. Arrest Take this witch. You've made your last mistake. But you ain't got nothing. This is where you go. Let's go, let's go. Confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Man, boy, that wasn't nothing, boy. That's a Tuesday morning walk, boy. You talking about, boy, I'm the goat out here. You all right? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, 
an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't hit? even give her a chance to run. Oh, no, nah, they slid up on her on the sneaky side, huh? They did a drive-by on shout. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Come on, man. You already know we got to hit They seem up. to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Revelio. All right, let's take a look, man. Let's investigate this thing. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. <gasps> hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Well, they got them tools, huh? Okay. I wanna go. They got tools out here. Revelio. Got that chopper in the car so it don't make it come alive, huh? What's what this is? Ain't nothing. But what the hell is this big old thing? Hey, hey, Carl, they cooking people. Look at this. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Hmm. Revelio. Revelio. Let's see how I got around here, man. There's something here. Hold on. Take that cash. Go around your pockets up in here. Need all y'all money. Let's go see what's up with the statue then. Oh, wait. Hey, this is glowing too, my boy. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? Oh, when? dang. Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Oh, this Rebellion. one cuz healed, shouted. Well, he healed, uh... He kept that drought from happening. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Investor Sensei on the job, man. Y'all already know I'm figuring it out. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. What the hell? Smoke the damn picture up? Oh, man. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you I found a pensive that day this in the restricted man. section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Yeah, like bro. in Quidditch. And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize Cause, it's a lot to I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Bruh, she Let me see if I've got your, this straight. Your sister, Kurt. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor 
who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't yeah, know bro. you, I think you were pulling my leg. Bro. It is all a bit much. I ain't isn't about it? that leg like that. pulling, bro. I tell facts. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Man, you got the curse on you, bro. Well, dang, uh, the blast, dang. I don't feel like changing, bro. Dang. All right, I got it. Couldn't bring up. Let me slide in here. Huh, a stairwell. Oh, snap. Revelio. Hey, you fur, my boy. Yeah. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Hey, these vines moving, boy. What all this? Hey, hey. Hold on, bro. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Oh man, okay. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. I had to oh. read that, man. I was oh, these things do hurt, bro. Yeah, Lee. Incendio. That's off me, man. Oh, they grow right back. That's crazy. Rebellion. Alright, it might be some over there. Let me see if they they hate light. Yeah, yeah, I got your weakness now, huh? Go on back, player. Get on back. You're not going to believe this. I can see the undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. This ain't no damn daydream. I see the damn wind. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. Glad you listen. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it. Man, you and think that you I couldn't understand it. it? That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. <laughs> but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Yeah, please don't tell Ominous. his. Understood. Okay. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. Yeah, let's ride, gang. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Lumos. You ain't gotta hold your breath. Come on and touch the window, bro. That's all you gotta do is touch the mirror. See Why would saying? the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Oh, wait, they're here? What it did. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. That's what I'm gonna do to that sicko man picture in a minute. Oh man, this is like a bunch of gibberish, my boy. I don't know what that say. Anything helpful in the note? But nothing at all, my boy. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course. She probably but... were, my boy. I don't think so. 
I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Okay. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? You did not? Yeah, you didn't Is it connected that, to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Hey man, you need to hit me ASAP, my boy. But this thing is getting crazy, boy. Alright, man, we're gonna cut it dead, old man. It's getting crazy out here, boy. Ooh-wee. I'ma see y'all on the next one. Toot.